people think that it is a place that you go. Special education is a service. It's not a place. There's a misconception that students with disabilities can't do what everyone else is doing. That's probably the farthest thing from the truth. So to think of how scary it was a couple of generations ago when you legit took your special education student and placed them into a long-term care facility. I think there was a stigma, right, for kids that receive special education that they must be stupid. They're not. They are not. They are brilliant, brilliant kids. In the past, uh, special education students and adults were not uh, given the same opportunities, um, and that needed to change. We're trying to really build inclusiveness and make it so that nobody knows who needs what services, that those, those are seamless and fluid, and that the children, all, all children, are getting what they need when and where they need it most. Special ed students are gen ed students first, so they need every opportunity to interact with students and curriculum as much as they can. It starts classroom teacher, uh, then if they have concerns, it would go to a special ed teacher. I think one of the things we'd really try to do is build those foundational skills that are academic in nature, but also social. And then once it gets a special ed teacher, then all the other services come into play. We have speech services, we have occupational therapy services, we have physical therapy services. And that's just the ancillary services that we get through the Claire Glowin RESD. So when we rely on the RESD to contract our speech pathologists, to contract our occupational therapists, our school psychologists, those people are in multiple districts. And so they also then bring a unique blend of what's happening in other districts. Through Harrison Community Schools, we have a counselor in the high school. We have two counselors actually in the high school. And we have one counselor here at the middle school. We have a social worker that is district wide. And so that partnership is um, very valuable to help us provide a well-rounded continuum of services at Harrison but also in our RESD as a whole because we can all build on each other's strengths um, through those common itinerant staff. So we've been extremely blessed with amazing teachers in Wes's education so far and that's mostly because of how embracing they are. The teachers embracing that um, is a really good feeling. I think we have a great staff. So they are completely on board with making sure that he has um, the resources to truly make his academic uh, achievements. I think that they give 110%. I think that they're misunderstood by the community. And it's unfortunate because we're doing really good things here. Teachers are the heart of what happens in our society. You wouldn't have any other profession if you didn't first have teachers. And they are the ones who are, are never not at school, even if they're not physically here. Their presence is always with their children. Where I would really love to see us do better is helping the teachers to, to better accommodate their students in the classrooms and not just because of the students' needs, it's for the teachers' needs. Teachers are definitely being um, tasked with additional duties than they have in the past with less resources than they had in the past. I would really love to see more help for, for the teachers and at least help them help their classrooms and then they would probably feel the relief of that. The level of professionalism that we see out of our educators, out of the people who are our service providers is astounding and when I talk to people from other areas about what's happening in their schools and in their ISDs, we are leaps and bounds ahead of where where other people may be at that time and I think that that speaks to teachers dedication to their craft.